there. I'm going to do a 16 by 40 inch canvas today. I've got all deco art products. I'm going to use titanium white mixed one to one with Oatrol Easy Flow and that will be on my whole canvas and then I'm going to use squeeze bottles for the rest of it. I'll have the same white and a squeeze bottle as well. I'll say I'm using primary yellow, bright orange, orange flame, Santa red, primary magenta, carousel pink and baby pink, lamp black, ultra blue deep, dioxazine purple, purple rain, festive green, sour apple, teal mint, and green tea mixed together in one color. Peacock teal mixed with the ultra blue deep and some evergreen. Desert turquoise, bright blue. I have in a cup here some vivid violet with dioxazine purple. And I also have a squeeze bottle with splendid gold and a little bit of vintage brass. And I wanted to mention that their Americana Decor Metallics are super shimmery in these 8 ounce tubs. I love the colors. If you can find these, the, the Decor Metallics, they are super shiny metallics. I also wanted to show you one color that I mixed. This is the Blue Harbor, which is kind of like a, a pale periwinkle. And I put it in my cup, a two ounce, two ounce bottle of paint in my cup, and I put two ounces of Oatrol Easy Flow water-based paint conditioner. This Oatrol is a European company. They have their website Oatrol, and you can also get their product on Amazon. It's in my link below my video. And this is the 2.5 liter, so they do have it in the larger quantity now. They had one liters, now they have two and a half liters. This is extremely uh, self-leveling. It's a good quality based paint conditioner. It's another option besides Floetrol, which is just in the United States. And uh, this works really, really well. So I do a one-to-one -one ratio with all the deco art colors. I do not add water to the, all the colors in the bottles. The only one I would add water to would be the premium in the tube, the primary magenta. I do add water to that because the tube paints are a little bit thicker. So after I put my two ounces of paint in my cup, I put two ounces of the Oatrol and I stir it thoroughly. And this can take quite a, some time to really get it mixed up well. You scrape your, the edges of your cups and just make sure you get it really, really well mixed. And it should pour off your stick like honey. And in my squeeze bottles, all my paints are one-to-one -one ratio with the deco art. And I really, you don't want to add water. You want it to be a fairly good consistency so when it comes out of the squeeze bottle that it doesn't just turn to water and liquid and level out and be real super fluid when you do the swiping method. I'm going to do a little swiping today, maybe a little blowing. I'm just going to, I don't have anything particular planned. I just want to kind of go with the flow on this one. But this is just, I just wanted to show you how to mix the color. Then you take it and you put it in your squeeze bottle. I totally forgot before I did this. To add my silicone, I had four ounces of paint mixture in this cup. Two ounces of paint, two ounces of Oatrol, so that was four ounces. So I need four drops of silicone, and this is spot on treadmill lubricant. One, two, three, four. That's in all my squeeze bottles. And then you, I mean, you can, I should have stirred it into my cup and I totally forgot, but now that it's in my bottle, then you shake it up thoroughly. And that's what causes the smaller cells and the lacing when you do swiping. But um, if you want big juicy cells, then you pour your paints in cups. 
you put your silicone or your OGX coconut milk, which I also love to use, you put just a little bit in your cup and you barely stir it, you'll get some nice juicy cells. So before I do anything, I'm going to put a white base coat on this canvas. I don't know how much I need for this canvas. I basically just want a thin coat and I'm going to also take it over the edges too a little bit. Not much. I can, I can also come back and paint the edges on later with the same paint. The key is to have a nice skim coat of white on the top. And I'm just using a plastic scraper from like Lowe's or Home Depot, you know, they're just plastic paint scrapers basically. That's all I'm doing to spread the canvas out. But since it's not super even, I'm actually going to put a little bit more on, not much. I'm going to use my pool trowel, which is in my Amazon link. It is made by Marshalltown. It has a acrylic blade that's about 10 inches and I use it for swiping on larger canvases and I also use it just to smooth out paint like this because it does a little bit better job. It does not have to be perfect. You just want to make sure you have fairly even coverage and it'll, it'll you know, lay down and settle as you're painting. And for some reason this canvas is wobbly today. I'm not sure why. So I'm trying to make sure every bit of my canvas is wet on the top. So you make sure to have some damp paper towels to uh, wipe off your swiping tools. That just releases any air bubbles that are on the surface. And I think I have a pretty good coat of white, but I can also as I go, I can take my squeeze bottle and add some in and, you know, smooth it down and it will level out over time. So if you just, if you see any areas of the canvas that are kind of showing through, just add your white to it just to make sure that it doesn't dry a, a little too fast. It will dry as you go but you just want to make sure you have a pretty good coverage to begin with. So I kind of envisioned something florally, kind of like I did with the hibiscus trails, and I wanted to swipe colorful leaves and do colorful flowers, but this time I wanted to make it like super colorful. So I want to bump it up just a notch on the colors. So I think I'm going to start. I always use sour apple and the festive green. And I may use that the mixture. This was a mixture, so I'm just going to call, call it an emerald green. This kind of just represents my vine or whatever is growing on the canvas. And I can also come back with a little of the sour apple just to give it a little bit of a highlight. And I really wish that that festive green was a little bit darker. I do have the peacock till, but it's got it's a blue green, so I'm just going to leave this as is. And so I want to do some colorful swipes that are kind of rainbow colored like I typically do because I really do love that rainbow colored effect. I think what I'll do is just start with a line here. I'm going to experiment with one before I do multiples. So that and this is um, ultra blue deep. Then the desert turquoise. I'll do the festive green, the emerald green color, come on. See, this is when you have to have your, uh, your toothpick 
because if you don't use if you don't use these every day they do kind of dry just a little bit at the tip and you just use your toothpick to release that dried paint at the very top and that's all it takes and sour apple this is the primary yellow orange flame Santa red and we'll do the primary magenta so it's got a little it's got a clog in it too I have not used these bottles to swipe in probably a week or so because I was preparing for that uh, show in Raleigh and I did a lot of 12 inch paintings that were more pours than they were swipes so these bottles didn't get used a lot at all last week so I've got the whole rainbow effect here and that's kind of the way I want it I'm gonna do the the carousel pink and then I'm going to do the dioxazine purple right on the end so what do I want to swipe with I think I'm going to go back and make this peacock till a little darker and use that as my swiping color and I'm going to use this one for the width of it but I do want it to kind of go up I'm not sure if I can get it to do that we're going to try so that worked pretty well you just kind of light you very lightly skim the surface like you're barely you're parallel to your canvas so you do it very very lightly this might have been pretty even done with black I'm not sure I didn't know if, I don't know if I want to incorporate black into it or not I kind of want to keep the colors crisp and clean so that's why I'm gonna just leave it the way it is so now that I kind of know what I want to do I'm gonna do one down here so I'm gonna line my colors up so I can do this quicker got quite a lot of colors I think this is the order and purple at the end also remember after you swipe you've got to wipe your tool to use it for the next time this is going to be some pretty colors <clears throat> I'm going to take this paper which is dry erase poster board so it's like poster board but it has a plastic coating on it I saved the label to show you two cool dry erase poster boards I got them at Office Depot I looked online and there are not there are not any that come in a poster board size but I bought two poster boards 
and cut one of them into 36 pieces like that so that I can swipe colors on it for uh, jewelry making. So it's called Dry Erase Poster Board. I think I put some on my Amazon link that are smaller sheets that I did find. So that, you know, if you want to try to look them up, you can. So I'm basically going in the order of a rainbow. And I could have started this with purple on this end, but I wanted the green to kind of come out from the stalk, basically. So that's why I chose to do it in this order. So I'm going to turn my canvas a little bit so I can get the right angle. Make sure you can still see me. Very, very lightly. And basically, I just swipe the edges of this poster board, and um, you'll have all these rainbow colors that are so pretty. It's interesting the way it did that there. What I'm going to do is make sure I've got a little extra white because you can tell it's kind of thin there. And I'm going to take this paint and just try to roll it out just a little bit and I gotta wipe it. I gotta wipe my skewer in between. But what I'm trying to do is get the color to go out to the edge of the leaf there just a little bit more so it wasn't so separated. So here I'm just rolling where there's a little bit of a gap there. I like this though. I dripped. So you just take your finger and lift it out. Oh, I've already used this color. Or did I? Maybe I didn't. Blue, oh, yeah I did use it, but that's okay. You have to save yourself room to swipe off the edge there so you can't block it with your bottles. Just swiping it on the edges of the card there. And then wiping my tool off. So I want to do blooms of flowers and I want to go really, there's a hair, a hair like a piece of fur because it's short. So where I stuck my fingers, I'll just put a little white back and that will Help it level out, hopefully. So that's a shorter one. So if you do the edges, I just kind of curve the piece of, uh, and it's nice and sturdy. That's what I like about this poster board. It's like a dollar and a half or two dollars a sheet, but you can pour on here and peel the paint off and reuse it if you want to. And it's plastic coated on both sides. So you can even use this side, let it dry, turn it over and use the other side. It's really kind of neat. Ooh, that makes me want to do another kind of painting all together right there. Just doing that and tilting it. So do one here. A little bit more right here. So pretty. And then I want one 
right on this curve, I think. And I felt something cold and wet on my feet. And it's white paint that had dripped over on the edge. I'm sure y'all have that issue too of stepping in your paint. This feels very festive. I like it. I love, love, love colors. Uh, can I do this? I might need to turn the canvas again. Sometimes you got to be able to get the right angle. See, I kind of screwed that up on the edge, but I'll, see, I'll just bring my tool back a little bit to drop some color back on there. You can kind of save yourself, you know. So now that I have that one up there, I might want one down here in the corner too. And that is so pretty. So I'm going to take my knife and just kind of blend in this rainbow color effect right here a little bit. Bring down that white into the leaf right there just a little bit too. Give it a little bit more definition. Just dragging the paint up a little bit. Take my fingertip and lift off the drips that I've done. So now I've got to decide. I may add a leaf down here at the end too. So you just, if, you, if one has like a, a not a definite enough shape, you just kind of use your butter knife or skewer. I know a lot of people don't use butter knives, but I, I like my butter knife because there's no sharp edges, no, so it has a little softer feel to it as far as uh, not being so crisp and hard and thin as a palette knife. But I need to decide what kind of flowers I want to do. I wanted like colorful blooms and I really want to use this color. I'm not sure if there's silicone or uh, coconut milk in it. I have no idea. I've got to find my straw. So first of all, I'm going to kind of sort of experiment right here. So let's try, I'm just going to layer up colors here, kind of see what happens. That's pretty, it's not really totally what I envisioned. I kind of like that. I just want kind of a colorful bloom and I love purples, reds, oranges those tones together. So that's why I picked those colors. So I'm going to keep going with it, I think. I'm going to put a little, little white down first this time. Maybe do the darker dioxazine purple underneath. So try a little white underneath and then white between that and the red. Do I want the dioxazine purple? Maybe, maybe just not as much. You have to kind of, you know, work your way through it and I got it a little close to the vine. So this time I'm going to come out further. Just do a little dioxazine. And this is quite thick because it's been sitting for a while. Yeah, I like that. 
I may still add something out here. I'm not sure. So I'm keeping, I'm keeping the, you know, the repetition of the same colors going. Oops, dropped some purple on my leaf. If you drip, just do white over it and tap it in and it usually helps. Excuse my head. I like that one because the red kind of stayed down at the bottom. They don't all have to match perfectly either. And I have the tubing to blow with, but I just, for some reason, prefer to use the straw. And I will have to use the tubing for this angle. So I kind of like that, and I want to do something with yellows. Maybe let's try a yellow, orange, and maybe a dot of the carousel pink. Okay, so let me put just a hint of the red at the bottom. Try the, the pink and then the yellow and see what happens. So maybe it has, you know, a couple coming out in one area. I blew too hard. You can always leave those kind of things if you want to, if you want it to feel really kind of funky and a little bit on the abstract side, you can definitely leave those splashes in, but because I haven't done it anywhere else, that's why I'm not going to leave it here. So I'm just going to put white back in where I had to wipe off. Hopefully that'll level back out. And that's a big one. I'm putting too much paint, I think. I can imagine what you're saying on your end watching me. Yeah, I like that one better. It's funny how some come out better than others and, you know, you feel like you're doing it the same way, but you're not. This one is getting dry up here. So I'm just going to thin out a white area a little bit more just so that the paint has somewhere to slide on. I do kind of like that look, I have to admit, but I'm keeping them all the same so that they're cohesive in a way. Like this has a little too much red showing. I'm a, this is when you take your skewer and you make it your friend. You just scooch paint, slot it. Maybe I'll do more greenery down here more of a leafy look there or something. I'll add a little bit more to this one. So just kind of making sure it's kind of filled out. So that's, I can do that. that I'm do, this is doable. Now I'm going to add the uh, peacock green through this vine. So basically I'm just kind of skimming my butter knife through it to kind of intermingle the greens a little bit. I would like it to be thinner. <clears throat> so I may go back and add some white beside it. But for now I'm going to leave it. And I want to connect the flowers to the vine. So I think I'll do the teal color. And then I'm going to do the sour apple over that just to kind of intermingle it together a little bit. So I'm just kind of trying to give it some uh, the bloom some sustenance at the bottom a little bit. 
this is all supposed to be very abstract feeling. It's not supposed to be real. You know, I've had people make comments before, you know, and this is not realistic painting at all. It is just fluid art and you're just having a little fun with it and trying to do something, you know, kind of more intentional. I'm going to take a little color from this flower, move it there to cover that green up. So I can even, you know, just kind of bring some greens over these blooms and then maybe take some of the peacock color too. Just to add where it might need a little depth to it. The two just makes it look not so flat, it, but you know, it's a, like a lighter and a darker, just almost like a, uh, a shadow and a highlight is the way to kind of look at it. If you were to paint leaves, there's going to be darker ones, there's going to be highlights on the leaves, so you're kind of doing the same thing with your fluid paint. You can take your skewer and try to roll it out a little bit with your skewer. I could even do it with the butter knife. Let's see how the butter knife does. See? Gives it that more leafy, wispy feel. Make sure to wipe occasionally. <laughs> that sounds funny, doesn't it? You can even do, if there's enough paint, you can even make it look kind of like it's multi-layered, multi-leaves. Just drag your paint, you know, with your butter knife or whatever and give it a couple of leaves, you know. You are the master of your universe. You need a little lighter green, just bring it over from another area where it's thicker. I think that's pretty good. And I want to just do a little bit down here that might just be, you know, the green colors, who knows. I'm going to experiment down here. I'm just trickling it over each other in a way. Maybe just the hint of the blue too. Not the whole area, just hints of it. And a little of the uh, emerald color just here and there. So I've kind of just trickled it through. So I think what I'm going to do is go up a little this way. Just, yeah. So I'm just kind of swiping, but very gently, and just moving those colors around. So it just kind of gives it like a base, you know, like a beginning point here. I'm even going to add just a little bit, as if it were all growing from the bottom somehow. I could even put a hint of, a hint of red. Make sure my butter knife is clean. Swipe and then clean. Like I don't like the way that ends, so I'll take some of the paint from down here and put it up here. Get rid of some of those drips. Actually, I'm going to thin this one out right here just to make it look a little better. So I just scoot that paint up. Got a little green in it, so I'll just keep adding more white. See, it's nice and thick here. Quite 
clean it off. And spread that white out to make sure it's okay. I can even have it where it comes down to multiple areas, but I don't want to mess up this area too bad because it was really pretty with the uh, cells. I like it with that red mixed in. Still feel like these need to, the petals need to be separated a little bit better or something, so I may add some white into them. And I think I am going to add some black. Let me try this. Doing a dot and then coming down. See if that works better. This is a about a one inch silicone brush. I'm gonna see if I can use this. So I'm gonna make me a little a little bee. I want a bee in here. So I'm gonna use some white and a little bit of blue. Maybe get a little bit of this purple. It's not a real looking bee, it's just a bee. A bee that wants to be. So just kind of fine tuning the finishing touches. A skewer can be really good at just kind of moving things just very, very slightly. You know, trying to straighten up a line or blend in some colors or whatever. You can use a skewer to kind of, you know, just straighten up some stuff. Just gotta make sure to wipe it in between so you don't get whatever color you're working with mixed in with the next color. I think I'm done. I like it. Make sure I've got enough white on my edges. So I've got you in the corner here and I'm starting just to let you see kind of a close up of the different leaves. Just by manipulating it with um, skewers and butter knives and the little one inch silicone brush, which I believe is in my Amazon link. But um, I love all the, the multicolors of the little flowers. You know, some of them turned out better than others. I'm not crazy about all of them, but hey, and my little bumblebee, he's all squiggled up. I couldn't do straight lines, so I just swirled him a little bit. It's fluid art, so you know, you get what you get with fluid art. But, um, and here's up in the top right corner. You can see the, the colors. And you use all those rainbow colors. That's what I love about the, uh, the small cells and the lacing when you're using, um, silicone and you stir and you shake bottles they're going to have small cells but this is what I love is you get all that really fine detail of a rainbow of colors so that's so pretty to me I love it like this one here is just a really cool leaf it has all the colors in it and this one, you know, there's all just different patterns of cells, but so that's, that is it. And 
There it is going up. It's 40 inches long and 16 inches deep. Like I said, it's kind of an unusual shaped canvas. But there it is, getting up from a distance a little bit. Of course, you saw it from the top. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, the white, the white is kind of lumpy and it'll settle down as it dries and it'll level out a little bit more. And I can always come back in with a brush and add some layers if I need to. But um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, which means you liked it. And then also there's the little bell in the bottom right corner. If you're a subscriber, if you click on the bell, that will help you get notifications. There's also um, the PayPal button. If you click on it, down under my video for donations to keep creating some beautiful inspirational art for you. Uh, I hope this inspired you in some way. I just really felt like doing something uh, very arty and colorful today and this is kind of what transpired. So I never really know what's going to happen until I get the paint on the canvas and just play with it. And that's what it's all about, is just playing with it and having some fun. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you.